Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Non Rev Sims and I primarily make Sims 3 videos like current households, speed builds and CC haul videos. Today's video is a part of the Sims 3 summer collab that was put together by my very good friend Shan. Shan and I have wanted to collab since like 2020 so to finally be collabing feels really great. Um, thank you to Shan for organizing all of this and making sure to include me. I'm super honored and super thankful that he decided to put this all together. Like I said, this is part of the Sims 3 Summer Collab, and I really hope you all have enjoyed seeing content from this amazing group of Sims 3 Simmers. For this collab, we have had content from Shan Finds Pixels, Vic Sims, Simplicity, Nula, Joseph with an F, Bunny Banana Sims, Nessie Penguin, Florida, Plum Bob 95, me, non ref Sims, obviously, and CJ Plays. So I hope you guys have, you know, had your fill of Sims 3 content. I ho hope you enjoyed all the goodness that everyone has put forward. I know we have some gameplay photos coming out, some builds, some videos, just a little bit of everything from The Sims 3 to celebrate the beginning of summer. For my portion of the collaboration, I decided to do a community lot build. And now y'all don't attack me. I know I said I would not do another community lot build when I made the barcade way back when, if you guys don't remember that video, I made this massive, massive community lot build. Um, I'll have that video linked in the top right and in the description if you wanna go check it out. But that build was so overwhelming and so massive. It, it, was a, it was a lot to finish, it was a lot to build, it was a lot to furnish. And in that video, I said I was never gonna do it again because <laughs> it was just so overwhelming for me to do. But I had fun building it, so I said, hey, you know what, I need a community lot for my Sims 3 current household. And plus, what better way to celebrate summer than building a community lot? someplace your sims could come hang out enjoy themselves um there's not things for all ages in this build actually no there is everyone but toddlers is included because i believe children can play with the the arcade games that i've put up throughout this build but i just needed something for my sims to to hang out if you are not familiar um i have a sims 3 perfect genetics leprosy that i play off camera um I have a current household for them. I have a part one current household for them. I'll try to have that linked somewhere again in the cards in the top right and in the description if you're not familiar with the Clarks. But I'm currently on generation four. Well, I'm between generation three and four right now. And they currently live in Twinbrook. And if you are familiar with Twinbrook, you know that there aren't many places for your Sims to go out and have fun and hang out. Um, Ambitions came out right before late night. So it, be, it came out before there were bars and clubs and all of the, you know, all of that late night goodness. Like y'all, late night is one of my favorite packs just because of all the content that came with it. But there wasn't much to do in Twinbrook prior to this. So I had to go in and I had to fix it up just because my family, my Sims 3 current household does still live there even though we've enabled late night. So while, there are, while they are still living in Twinbrook, I need something for them to do. So what I did was demolish the lot, the Red Rendezvous. I think it sits at 11, it, yeah, it definitely sits at 1122 Lakefront Drive um, so I demolished that lot and I decided to build it up myself just because if y'all haven't seen the Red Rendezvous, I'll try to leave a picture in the video. That build is like massive. It's like four stories. I think it's three levels up top and then a basement. And it just, it makes no sense. Like a lot of the builds in Twinbrook are really big and have these like fake storefronts. I, I don't even know what the Sims team was going for with that. Maybe they ran out of money or something. They ran out of budget to actually build up Twinbrook. But a lot of the builds in Twinbrook have all this empty space like it's just like the top levels are empty like I think the laundromat is like that and then the gym I can't really remember but I know for sure the laundromat has like this massive build for no reason like there's nothing even there it's empty and that's the same thing with the red rendezvous so what I ended up doing was going in and fixing it up and what I did to fix it up actually matches some of the other renovations that I have done in Twinbrook um, if you follow me on Twitter you've seen the renovations I've done but if not I'll put up some pictures right now of the other renovations I've done in Twinbrook. Um, so these builds that I did, the renovations I've done in Twinbrook, like the fire station, the laundromat, um, the salon, and then 
There's one more thing I renovated. I did not personally build those lots, so please don't ask me to post them up for download. Um, if you go to my Twitter, I have links of where I got those builds from, and then I just fixed them up for my personal aesthetic. So yeah, those won't be available to download, but this one will be, which I didn't even tell you guys the name of this lot. You can probably tell from the title of this video, but if you can't, this is called the Rev Bar, obviously, because I am non-Rev Sims, and my Sims needed a bar to go to. So that's what we got going on here. The lot size is 22 by 16. Like I said, I built it specifically for Twinbrook. Um, you can plop this down in other worlds. I believe there is a mod out there on Mod The Sims that allows you to place any lot sizes. So if you go into the world editor, normally you can only choose like, 10 by 10 20 by 20 40 by 40 lots and this one is 22 by 16 which technically doesn't exist in edit town but there is a mod i have not tried it out myself but i have seen some other people talk about it if you did want to place this down in another world you would just go install that mod i will try to have a link to that in the description um, but you just go ahead and install that mod and you can place down any lot size and then this lot will fit in any world that you want to place it in if, if you don't want to play in twinbrook so you can go ahead and do that to build this lot i did use a few store content items i think it was like four or five and then a few sorry i lied i used a few store content items and then four or five custom content items so i don't know if you guys saw me already do the exterior paint on the top level of the building so, so the second level that is a custom content pattern and then i don't know what else i used that was custom content but it will be included in a text file. Um, I'm not gonna include the custom content with it. The lot will come as a dot package and you will just need to place it into your Sims 3 folder. So you'll go to your documents, your Sims 3, and then place it in your library folder. You don't put it in your mods folder, you place it into your library folder, and then it will be available for you to put that down from edit town. I just think it's nicer and easier that way than installing sims 3 packs um just y'all sims 3 packs you guys should know i loathe them okay i made a whole video about why i hate sims 3 packs <laughs> if you really want to know the reason why um but yeah they're not very safe for your game so i don't recommend you do it if someone desperately wants me to upload this lot as a sims 3 pack i can do that there is just no guarantee the cc will be included in it because i do delete my dc cache folder i think that's the one so all of the stuff that's installed through my launcher won't be included anyway but it's going to be as dot package if you desperately want it as a sims 3 pack let me know and i'll try to get that uploaded for you all but besides the custom content and store content, you will also need a few packs. I used ambitions, high end loft stuff, 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff, and then late night. I think those are the only two expansions and two stuff packs I used. Yeah. If that's not correct, it'll all be listed in the text file. So make sure you read that. I've written it out. I wrote that out a long time ago, actually shortly after I built this lot. I built this lot a few weeks ago. I'm just now getting around to doing the voiceover because I had to get a new mic. So if you notice anything a little different about the audio quality, if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know. I'm still working on working with the software to get it to match. Honestly, at this point, I haven't done anything to the software. So this is exactly how it sounds without editing so let me know if it sounds better or worse um, my previous mic i would have to do a lot of editing to it um and it was it was not a good time so i just needed something that was quick and ready to go before i figured out all the technical stuff behind the scenes so um yeah that's why i'm doing this audio so late <laughs> Um, but like I said, all of the information will be included in that text file. The link will be on Patreon. My Patreon is free. Um, I just have it there just so it's easier for me to keep track of all of my downloads just because sometimes Sims file share is a hit or miss and I'm not going to be dealing with Sim file share files. Um, because I, I really can't be bothered patreon you know she's she's tried and true so this build will be listed there it is free don't worry about subscribing to my patreon that is completely unnecessary unless you desperately want to you can do that i'm not going to stop you uh, but it is free but like i said this lot was built in twinbrook because my current household lives there and i wanted an actual hangout for them you have probably if you follow me on twitter you have probably seen this lot a few 
days ago i posted some pictures of my sims 3 or i posted pictures of my generation 4 twins they were actually performing at this bar so you've seen this already if you follow me on twitter if you want to see early versions of the builds and stuff that i do or work in progress pictures you should definitely follow me on twitter because i'm always on there posting random crap so definitely follow me there if you want to see what i'm working on before i get the video posted to youtube um, but anyway like i said I needed a hangout for my sims for some reason sims are always hanging out at the red rendezvous in my saves well probably because there's nothing else for them to do so that's why they're always hanging out there so i thought what better place for them to hang out than at the place they already hang out <laughs> if that makes any sense um anyway back to this build this was actually one of the quickest builds i've ever done i think in total i had about two and two and a half hours maybe two hours yeah, actually I'm looking at it now. It was about two hours of footage that I had unedited. And then for the things I did off camera, like the color scheme and placing items, I would say that took me less than an hour to do, which is crazy. That's unheard of for me. So overall, I wanna say the build probably took less than three hours total, um, including all of the recoloring. Now, like I said, y'all, this is unheard for unheard of for me i am a very slow builder i'm very indecisive i like to take my time with things you know i know my limits so i like to i like to go slow just because i know i'm a slow builder so for me to finish a build in three hours like all in one goes insane because normally my other builds they'll take me like three hours a day for like three to four days because like i said y'all i'm a slow builder and it's like i don't even know what i'd be building for that long it just it just always seems to work out that way um but i think we are coming up on the end of this video where are we at building wise okay yeah see here i'm doing some recoloring that you probably will see changed again in the photos or not photos sorry i did a video walkthrough of this i didn't do photos just because i don't know why i did i just you know videos video walkthroughs for me have been easier than photos so that's what you guys get i've already filmed the video walkthrough um i can't remember what i said because i filmed it a long time ago but you guys will see that at the end of this video <laughs> okay honestly truly i don't know what i'm talking about anymore but i hope you guys have had fun seeing all the content from these sims 3 creators everyone's content links will be down in the description if you haven't checked out everyone's part of the collab yet make sure you check the description for everyone's links like i said we have youtube videos we have gameplay photos we got some tumblr posts a little bit of everything for you guys so definitely check that out if you are if you're itching for some more sims 3 content i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um i'm not gonna do my outro here because past me already filmed it during the video walkthrough so um yeah when i come back you guys will be hearing a past version of me doing that walkthrough okay well i will come back to you guys when this when the build portion of the video is done one very quick tip i forgot to mention before before we end the build portion of this video is that i did place a lot of debug lights in this build just because i prefer debug lights um using anything else is pointless to me just because i hate seeing the lights when i'm taking photos so debug lights are my go-to now because of this using so many debug lights if you have not turned off the bloom effects in your game you will definitely get that weird glare weird shine um i will try to leave a before and after picture of turning of having the bloom effect on and having it off if i remember i'll try to have a before and after that way you guys can see what i mean so definitely do that i will have a link to that tutorial on how to turn off the bloom effects in the description i did not write that tutorial so i can't help you if something goes wrong but definitely back up the file that you are editing um one of the file that you are editing is not even in your sim3 documents folder it's in another folder but make sure you keep a backup of that if you do decide to turn off your bloom effects um I turned off my bloom effects about a year ago and it does not affect anything else in the game. I believe in that tutorial they said it affects something with world adventures, but that is no longer the case. So please, please, please turn off your bloom effects. Um, again, please use that photo that I put up as a reference point as to what the bloom effects does um when you have it on versus when you have it off i think it's better to have it off so make sure you do that all right now let's go back to the build and i will see you guys once the build footage is finished and we begin our walkthrough
Alright, welcome everyone. Welcome back to Rev Bar. This is the completed look of the building. I don't think I changed the color to red in the video, but yeah, now the exterior is red. Um, let's just take a real quick look on the exterior. We do have some Sims at the Rev Bar already. He's, I don't know who that is, but that man is standing outside. Hold up. You know what? Let's, let's, let's do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. Object deleted. Thank you. That way we can get a nicer look at the building without that lamp blocking the way um, anyway here is what it looks like there we go all right and then here is the rear of it and then all the way if it's gonna let me go I should have deleted this building next to us that way we could have a better view but whoops but you know what it is what it is. We gonna, we gonna struggle bust it. All right, well, you guys can't see the other side, but not that it matters. There's nothing over there anyway. All right, that's the exterior. Let's go down inside. I probably should have recorded this at night, but it's currently 7 a.m. in my game. The sun hasn't come up all the way though, so the lights are still nice and club vibey. So let's go on inside to Rev Bar. So when you get in, if I can get in, this is the hallway when you get in, all right? This is this is what it looks like. So you have this little entrance over here, all off to your left. This is the curtains that lead to the bar. That's where the bartender enters through. And this is where everyone else enters to, through. You know what, let's do tab camera just because I can't be bothered. All right, so you go around this. You don't go through it, you go around it and in you are in the bar. Like I mentioned earlier, to the front obviously is the stage just right there right there front and center and then to the left you have the main attraction which is the bar so over at the bar we got some bar stools we got little bar items over there on display obviously we got our little cash register where the bartender charges you for your drinks we got a signed picture by some random man we don't know who that man is but he's apparently famous enough to have a signed picture up in a bar in Twinbrook so hey we got the bubble blower we have the dartboard over there some speakers for the music to this side we have the VIP area this is actually one of my favorite areas um, I had a fun time designing this even though these sectional chairs are a pain in the ass to work with um, but this is what the VIP zone looks like both of them are the same exactly the same nothing's pretty nothing's really different um, over here like I said this is the stage these are the dance floors that you can dance at that is the dartboard over there um, but yeah here's the stage so we have a guitar a bass drums keyboard and then we have some framed guitars over there who knows maybe that's from that man who left his signed picture in a random bar in Twinbrook um, we also have like the 
the fog machine things, the little effects machine, and then we have another one on the roof, which y'all, I actually did the roof, or I put tiles on the roof or put ceiling tiles up, which you guys should be proud of me for doing that. Um, over here, we have a random table. Just if you don't want to stand and watch the band perform, you can sit and watch the band perform. And then, um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but we got some artwork on the wall. There we go. <laughs> All right, through these curtains around this back area, if we come around, we have a blue lit room, which is nothing, there's nothing there, but all right, so there's obviously nothing in this room, but if we head up the stairs, we are now in the arcade area. So right when you get upstairs, you have the foosball table. Over here to your right, you have all of the arcade machines. So we have the arcade machine there. We got a pinball machine. We have the whack-a-mole machine, which is whack a corn dog. Another arcade machine. Over here is the blackjack table where my Sims lose a lot of money. Um, we have the basketball hoop. Come around the back, we got some more arcade machines. We got the shuffleboard, we got the pinball machine. We have the whack a clown over there. Um, and then another arcade machine. And then the slot machines are along the back wall over there. Um, we got some Sims hanging out. Yeah, okay, hey guys. Anyway, <laughs> over here, this is the men's bathroom. All right, I'm putting the walls down. Over here, we have the men's bathroom. So we got two toilet stalls, the urinals, and then across from that, we have the sinks. Um, this is what this room looks like. We have the paper towel drying station, some soap, soap dispensers over there. Um, on this side is the women's bathroom, same exact thing as the men's bathroom, literally the same thing. The only thing different is that the women's bathroom is a little bit is a little bit bigger and we have this cute little we have this cute little armchair for those sims who get a little too tipsy and need need to sit down a little bit <laughs> all right there we go i think that we have covered everything we got some more speakers up here we got some nice mood lighting which i love so much um i was honestly just playing around with all of the colors and came up with this so that's what you're gonna get um let's see the outside so this is what the outside upstairs looks like um again the lights aren't you know what wait let me go into buy mode hold up i did try to go into buy mode and make it nighttime but it considers this as nighttime because the sun is not up yet um but yeah this is what the bar will look like with all the lights on and yeah this is the color scheme we got going on we got some different colors going on here like i said i was having a lot of fun playing with all of these colors but yeah this is what the rev bar looks like i mentioned earlier that the download link will be in the description it is a link to my patreon but do not worry you do not need to subscribe to my patreon i just uploaded my builds there as a way to keep everything nice and organized oh look at that we got some sims over there in the corner giving each other hugs look at it that's my rev bar bringing people together. Okay, they hugged again. I think that's actually mother and daughter and they are actually related to my Clark perfect genetics leprosy household. Um, I can't remember what branch of the family that is. That might be Emmy's branch. If you are familiar with um, my Clark perfect genetics leprosy, I'm pretty sure those are Emmy's like grandkids or something. So yeah, um, spoiler alert, sorry. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the speed build. The download link will be in the description. If you do plan on using this build, please tag me in photos. Let me see what your Sims or the neighbors get up to in Rev Bar. Um, please do not re-upload this anywhere. And yeah, just have a great time. Once again, many thanks to Shan Finds Pixels for putting together this collab. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me do the speed build of Rev Bar. Please don't forget to check the description. That way you can go check out everyone else's contribution to the Sims 3 Summer Collab. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna let me know your thoughts or comments, you can comment down below or tweet me on Twitter at nonrevsims. And if you enjoy this type of content and you wanna see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one.